All right, guys, so here we're here today to talk about the Marvel Pachinko machine. My first venture into any of these Pachinko machines that I've ever, I've never played one of these before. These are specifically in Japan, and you guys can see how fantastic this looks. I got it in a Marvel themed corner here with the nice Marvel uh, artwork there at the top. Uh, with my Marvel figures and a, a bunch of Marvel collectibles on the bottom. But today we're here to talk about this Marvel Avengers Pachinko machine and what a Pachinko machine is uh, and also what this machine can do that makes it really cool. So let's go ahead and dive into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is all right guys so this pachinko machine i wanted to give you guys a quick overview before i show you guys some gameplay so you guys can see this thing has some crazy lights like this is going to grab attention in any room uh, like i said these pachinko machines are really popular in japan and the reason that they're really popular here in the u.s is because in japan you know they're not allowed to actually have casinos or anything like that from what i've heard so what they do is they have these parlors and since they can't bet cash uh and, and any casino machines or anything what they use is they use these balls uh for these pachinko machines and you use these balls here, and, and that's what they used to play with. And then they basically, when they actually win, you know, they get, get all the balls that they won. Let's say they started with 500 and they won 2,000 at the end. They go, they, they get a receipt or something that says that they got 2,000 2, pachinko balls. And then basically they go around the corner and redeem them for food, prizes, money, whatever the case may be. And that's kind of how they get around like a loophole from what I heard of not being able to have official casinos that actually can, you can actually bet money with like we do here in the U.S., and they get around their laws because they're actually not getting money at the place that they're actually playing. They're going around the corner and using it for other things. But these pachinko machines are really popular in Japan, guys. And the reason that some of these end up coming into the U.S. also is because they have a strange law in there as well that even if they follow those rules, after a year to two years, these machines have to leave the parlor in Japan. They have to get rid of them and they have to put new ones on there. So for us, what that means is these machines only see like a year of use uh, sometimes or, or a little bit more than that. And then they get sold off and they have to get rid of them. They, you know, people get them and, and they sell them off, you know, over, overseas to here in the U S folks and stuff like that. And I got this machine uh, from a, from a website and a guy who's been really, really awesome. I'll have his link down below because he has a bunch of these different pachinko machines uh, that I think you guys will be really interested in, including this Avengers one. If you guys want to take a look at that and, and some other ones that exist, uh, he's been a really cool guy. And, and, you know, I got in touch with him to get me this machine and like I said, I'll have his link down below so you guys can take a look. But you guys can see this thing came in perfect condition. Like nothing wrong with it at all. He packaged it perfectly. No issues with it. And it looks just brand new, basically. It doesn't smell like smoke like some of the parlor ones. Uh, you know, it's just fantastic. He even did one above and beyond. But before he actually sent me this machine, he took a 10-minute video showing me how it works, how to turn it on, how to use it, all that kind of stuff. And, and you know, he, he went above and beyond as far as just sending me this machine um, so really, really solid job guys and definitely check out his website below. So, uh, as far as this Pachinko machine, you can see what makes this one really cool is of course, all the lights and flashy stuff that is Avengers themes. You can see here the danger sign. You can see here at the bottom, the Avengers logo, you can see inside guys, there is an actual screen in there. Yes. There's an actual, I don't know how big it is. Maybe like a 15 inch screen or so in there, but that's an actual LCD screen that actually plays. And you can see here that it has, you know, some animatronics in there and stuff like the captain america shields his head uh the spider man logo up there uh you got the uh deadpool mask in there iron man you know all these different things and you can see what happens is, is basically what you do in, in pachinko is basically these little balls that i was talking about you kind of put them in here and you shoot them with this and i'll show you guys some gameplay here in a minute but basically you adjust the speed of how you want this to shoot out the more you hold this to the right the faster it goes up and it shoots out from here at the bottom and basically it shoots and goes all the way up in the beginning you're trying to let it go up to here and then come back down through all of these little pins and get it into this a in the middle this is basically you trying to hit jackpot when you get three in here jackpot hits and when you get jackpot basically it starts spinning the wheels just like a regular slot machine does and you'll see numbers on the screen and they start spinning eventually when you get all three numbers to match you're in, in bonus mode and when you're in bonus mode instead of aiming for the ball to go up here and then come back down what you're now aiming to do is go all the way to the top and come all the way on this side and this little door opens up here when this door opens up then you start putting the balls in there and then you get a ton more balls 
because of course the object is to get as many balls as possible so when you're in bonus mode and your balls start going in there then you start getting a ton of balls uh in here and it just starts going crazy and you get more and more balls you can also get balls if you land one of the balls in here you get like six balls i think if one of your balls goes in there um and it's just a really fun game but what sets it apart of course is not just that it's the screen and the and the effects and of course this being a japan machine this is in japanese so of course you're going to hear that you hear that here in a minute that everything is in japanese and stuff because it's a japan machine but you know if you're a marvel fan you know all the things that this thing done lights up it's fantastic you know this thing even moves the avengers logo comes out and the danger sign moves and you're in certain modes and stuff uh, it has a bunch of missions you can do. It has some mini games where sometimes you have to smack this thing in the middle a bunch of times over and over again because you might be fighting a ball. So it's not just the balls and the slots that you're playing, but you're playing these little mini games that come up throughout the movies and stuff. And, you know, these animatronics move and they come out on screen. There's even a giant Avengers logo. If you can see the letters in there that are lighting up in yellow, uh, when you hit a certain mode, uh, then all the, the Avengers all come together and stuff. Uh, not easy to do, so you probably won't see it throughout my gameplay, but really really cool and something crazy on this particular one they don't all do the same thing by the way this is what the avengers one does but all there's different other ones out there like a star wars one and they all have their unique features but this one actually blows out air in certain parts of the mini game out of your hand here so while you're holding this it actually pumps out air uh you know when you're fighting different bosses and stuff so it's really really cool really really loud too you'll see that in a minute it, it, it has some crazy crazy uh stuff that you can do with this machine so um the, it came with 500 uh, balls, approximately 500 balls. Uh, of course, in the back is where the balls sit. I can't show you guys back there, but there's a, a, a you put the balls here at the top and you can see that there's some balls in there right now. Those are the balls that you win. So if you win, they come down from there and then they come in and they come in through here. There's also a ball picker at the back. Um, so the balls that you lose end up going to the back. And these are the balls that you start out with. And these are some extra balls I have on the side. These are actual Pachinko uh, official Neo box ones that they actually use in Japan. So these are the boxes that I got. They're actually officially used with these Pachinko machines. So um, they're not just regular ones. They came in blue and red. So it matches the theme perfectly. So guys, this machine is a lot of fun. I will tell you though that they're definitely expensive. Uh, a machine like this will run about $1,200 US um if you were to buy it um but i think they're well worth it for a man cave if you guys are looking for something different to really catch someone's eye i i think everybody who comes in this room I, I granted we haven't had anybody over yet because of covid and stuff but once we open up our house again to have people over and have some fun down here when people walk in and they see this piece here they're immediately going to be gravitated because of all the fancy lights and all the sounds and stuff and it's just fun to play and easy to get into and everyone loves marbles so it's going to be something that catches everyone's eyes so if you're looking for something cool for your man cave this is something definitely worth considering and again it's not just marvel they have star wars ones as well they have other properties that they're doing so um you know i may consider actually adding another one uh not pachenko though there's another thing that japan does with patchy slot which is more slot machine as opposed to using these silver balls uh they use like little fake coin like things like Chuck E. Cheese does, which is the other side of Japan that they do in their, in their parlors and stuff. So I may eventually add one of those. Uh, but like I said, guys, this is fantastic. But let me show you guys some gameplay so you guys can get an idea of what this looks like here in action. All right, guys, so I put some balls in here. So these are the balls that I actually got. So we can actually start playing. And like I said, you can see the ball start spinning up there. You can see I had this at a perfect position and I'm trying to get it in the center there. So I'm actually hitting them too hard. They're going over. So I got to move my hand a little bit to the left so they're not going as hard. You can see they're coming down the rail. So this is a good position for my hand. I'm trying to get it there in the middle. You can see, oh, there goes one. Let's see if we get another one. There goes two. There goes three. You can see the wheel starts spinning. Now the numbers are coming out. You can see that this is like a slot machine now, the numbers, and you're trying to match three. So you're trying to match three here, and if you match three, that's how you get the jackpot. You can see I'm winning some balls here, because some of the balls are going in those little circles here. It's really chaotic. You can see some of the balls are coming out there from the ones I'm winning. You can see, again, they're going in the center again. Oh, there's another one. So I got a slot machine there trying to get them to match and I did run out of balls here so you can see how fast you could lose your money if this was in an actual casino parlor oh I actually just won three more 
Let's, let's see how we do with these. And you can see all the action that's happening on the screen, uh, you know, with the characters and stuff as you're playing these slot machines. And I did, you know, run out of all of them. Um, and you can see that this is obviously like a slot machine. I could be here all day and the numbers may not match. We're still trying to get these to match to get the exact same number. So this is more referred to as a skill machine, but skill machine because there's some parts of it of you actually hitting the balls up here and trying to line them in the middle. That's where it takes some skill. But once you actually get it in the center, you're still relying on a slot machine mechanic that you have to get the numbers to match. You can see 661, we almost had that. And uh, then in a case like this, you obviously grab more balls if you had it. And then of course you keep playing and you're, and you're trying to get more as you keep going. And you're trying to get them again to keep going and, and get them in the slot machine. There's one. There's one that I just got. There, there we go, it tells you to push that in the center. And if you wanna get serious too, uh, on this handle thing that I'm pushing, you can actually hold this little white button and it will actually only shoot, instead of it shooting automatically when you have it like this, this will be shooting balls automatically. I can hold this and then shoot them one at a time if you really want to get skilled with the shots that you're taking and stuff. Um, but unfortunately, we can be here basically all day before I actually get one of the slots to actually hit because this is made like a slot machine. So I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to hit anything, but like I said, you saw that it told you to push and stuff, but there's also times where it tells you to smack it over and over again for a ball you're in. These fixtures will actually move like Spider-Man's thing will move into the center. Uh, you know, the Avengers logo will form. There's a lot of different things that this thing will actually do. Um, but again, unfortunately, it's all based on luck. So it's hard to, uh, it's hard to actually, you know, get it to replicate when you're doing a video. But that's a general overview of what the machine can do and what you guys can expect from it. Again, this is a Pachinko machine uh, that I got from the guy below. You can see his website. Uh, this is definitely one of the centerpieces in our room now. Like I said, it's a standout for people to have in their man cave, even though it's expensive. It's not something you're gonna run into every day and people are gonna immediately gravitate towards it. Not something that people are gonna see in other videos. And I think they're gonna be really, really happy with it. Um, so check it out guys. Like I said, they have other properties to look at. If you guys have any questions about what this machine can do or, you know, pachinko machines in general, leave those questions down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.